really water and clay and, and a way to make the clay is all you need to, to get started. My name is Peter Gilm Luganville and I'm a production potter here in Portland, Oregon. The first step is to just open up your box of clay and uh, I cut out the clay with a wire tool which is just you know two sticks and a wire. When you wedge the clay, the goal of wedging the clay is to prepare the clay to be worked with. It'll spiral the clay from inside out so that anything on the inside will become on the outside. And that's where you can pick out, you know, the pebbles or the air bubbles will come out and pop. After wedging, the next step for me is throwing and I'll, uh, I'll slam it down on the wheel. That's kind of the process of making sure the, the bottom part of the clay that I'm throwing on the wheel uh, has no air in it. So it's kind of a, a forceful plop. Clay is pretty sticky and kind of gummy at first, and water helps it just glide, almost like soap on your body. Every different potter has a different technique. It's like handwriting. Everyone's got a different way they grip the pencil, maybe they're left-handed. But instead of writing words, we're just working with a, a mound or a little lump of material. The reward is, you know, making something from your hands and your mind and your expression. Just the, you know, another platform to express yourself, whether it's music or, or painting or running or uh, whatever you're doing, it's just another platform that I feel like people ought to know about the magic of it.